week in Handyman Corner. Uh, we're going to talk about making your very own uh, fine, uh, highly crafted furniture, which uh, is something everybody wants to do. But then you, you build something, and it turns out to be a piece of crap you couldn't give away at a garage sale. Uh, whereas uh, building, uh, you know, a fine heirloom piece is something to take a little extra time, and it's something that can be done within your grasp. I'm going to show you how to do something like that right here today. We're going to take this canoe we have here, and we're going to make it into a grandfather clock. Okay, now the first thing we have to do is cut the end off here, because uh, you want to stand it up, and it's got to be flat, something flat to sit on. Now, you could cut it off a lot of different ways. You could use, I guess, a hacksaw on that, or... You could uh, use tin snips, or you could use a circular saw. Uh, you could chew that off if you want. You could just smash it off with a sledgehammer, just keep pounding it. You could back your van over it. Personally, for me, I prefer using the acetylene torch because it just works so much faster. <laughs> uh, acetylene torch really does the job, doesn't it? Huh? <laughs> now what we need to do is uh, we need to bring this around, flatten these out a bit. Let's see, so it'll. Uh, Flatten our base. That looks pretty good. Now we stand her up on our wooden base. Now, okay. Oh. Okay, now we just nail her into place here. Uh, Stinky Peterson said I could have just uh, thrown some paint cans, piled them up in here, and the weight of them would have held it in place, but I don't know. That's. That's not the way I like to do things. I'm more of a detail guy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, mm, okay. Uh. <laughs> now you can uh, fancy that up with uh, trim or even do a bit of sanding, you know, depending on how valuable an heirloom you're trying to create. Okay, now, now we need the precision timepiece. Uh, what I did was I just uh, snarfed the whole workings out of the clock in the kitchen at the lodge here. It's got its own little power pack on the back. And uh, to mount that on, we use the universal clock mounting device, uh, which you can find in most closets. And that goes on like so. And then we just grab a little uh, galvanized nail. Well, we want this thing to last a long time. I got a little hole in the canoe, pop that in there, and then uh, hang the clock right on there. 12 o'clock high. Huh? Okay, starting to take shape. Now, uh, what we need to do is to put in the, the chains and the weights and the pendulum and all that type of thing. Uh, and, and, but the mechanism's already on the clock. So these things are, are strictly cosmetic, which is a decorator term for fake. So we use uh, these chains and we need uh, some pieces of doweling. Uh, but I don't have pieces of doweling and I'm not interested in buying pieces of doweling, but I do have an old, uh, an old paddle here. Now, Harold always tells me that gold's worth a lot more than silver, so I'm painting her gold. <laughs> that should be about 18 carats worth, huh? Now I'll just wait till it dries. <clears throat> Good enough. So, <laughs> now we take this over and uh, I put a hook in behind the clock. So we hang, uh, hang the chain from the hook. Uh, one man's meat is another man's uh, hanging clock. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Now what we need to do is to add uh, some sort of a pendulum. Uh, what I've done is uh, I took the anchor out of the, out of the fishing boat. Uh, I don't think it's going to drift too far. The wind's not, not too bad today. The current gets up later on, but oh well. Now we hang this, uh, hang this rig up in here as well. And there we've got our whole phony looking mechanism. Now to really top it off here, uh, you can put some uh, plastic wrap uh, across the canoe. It gives it kind of a leaded glass look. Or you could just leave it open. But uh, at this point, I'm not about to cheapen off. First class all the way. <laughs> and there you have it. Uh, <laughs> your very own beautiful grandfather clock. A little bit wrinkled, but then again, uh, so is grandfather. <laughs> and if you don't like the aluminum look, uh, you could uh, cover that with a wood grain or simulated leather or whatever MacTac comes in. <laughs> You can also get some doorknobs, you know, to put on the points and the stuff sticking out. And it's up to you, but uh, I'll tell you one thing. You've got a one of a kind here. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. <laughs> Does that every hour on the hour.